Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2023 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ, and may God's peace be with you, and may the Word of God work in you today. February 17th, Friday, Galatians chapter 1, verses 11 and 12. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel I preached is not of human origin. I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it. Rather, I received it by revelation from Jesus Christ. Amen. There's a story in the Bible about a guy named Saul who headed out for Christians. He devoted his life to targeting them, oppressing them, and hurting them. While he was consumed with anger and hate, Saul met God. You know the story. On his journey to persecute another group of Christians, God struck him blind and told him to go find a man named Ananias in the city of Damascus. The people traveling with Saul got him to Ananias, who was a Christian and a guy who understood the threat Saul posted to him and the people like him. Ananias went to him anyway and laid his hands on Saul's shoulder. Brother Saul, he said, the Lord has sent me to restore your sight and fill you with the Holy Spirit. After everything Saul had done to Christians, can you imagine how Ananias must have felt to have the job of telling Saul he wasn't who he used to be? Saul got up and immediately began devoting his life to serving God. He carried the message of God's love to people across the ocean, facing ridicule, shipwrecks, beatings, and more than a little jail time along the way. Saul believed God when he told him who he was. He lived the rest of his life with extravagant love. He did it because there was a guy named Ananias who was brave enough to tell him who he was. What would it look like for you to live your life this week like you're exactly who Jesus thinks you are? God doesn't think you're a mess up just because you've messed up. He's got a new name and a new job for you. God wants you to be his. Let's pray. God, thank you for your love, and thank you for your love through people around us. Let us live our lives with that love from today, like exactly who Jesus thinks we are. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.